Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome to a fan game called Back to Fredbears. I saw that a demo for this game just recently got released. It looked promising, so I thought I'd give it a try. But as we play through it, remember it is a demo, so not everything is going to be completely clean and polished. So we're here to just give some feedback and maybe find some bugs. All right, night one. I don't even know if this is a uh, classic Survive Five Nights. I'm guessing it is, because we've got knights. Ah, whoa, hey. <laughs> I like that. So how do I... Oh, oh my god. Okay. Holy crap. Signal... I don't think I was supposed to do that just yet. Oh my god. Alright, so I'm down here. How do I defend myself? Still not entirely sure. Okay. Do I close these? Oh, wait. No. I can't click on those. Audio lower? Oh. Oh, I don't like that. That is really creepy. And why can't I click on anything? Oh, I have to wait for the lower to stop. All right, makes sense. Now I just gotta find someone. Oh my God, there's a, there's a vent. All right, just some endoskeleton heads. That's totally not creepy or suspicious. Oh, well, that's not good. Let's send you back over here. Oh my god, that is terrifying. Just the red glowing eyes in the darkness of the room. Send you to camp five, maybe? No? Okay, he wants to stay in camp two. I respect that. I can't. There we go. That's a little bit annoying that you have to wait for the lower to stop. But I guess it makes sense. Because then maybe if you're doing it, like, you played in Cam 5, and then you switch to Cam 2, it might think you're trying to play it in Cam 2. Alright, no, don't want you to go there. Come back. Alright, cool. I'm guessing it's just this one guy. I can't click any of... Can I click any of those? No, alright. Let's go back in here. He's moved. Send him back. I'm not sure what the jammer does. Not, I have no clue what it does. There we go. I'm guessing maybe that locks down the nearest door. Switch it up, send him to cam three. Cam two. Nice. Okay. Get in the hang of this. Oh. Try to send him back. There we go. This is kind of like Spring Trap in FNAF 3 where you can just bounce him back in between. I think it was cam 9 and 10. Hey, buddy. I think it is this, just this one guy. Try to send him back to cam 5. No. He really likes cam 2. Hello. I'm not sure what the gym. Oh, we start the. I don't know how I do that. All I can think of is to just close out. Okay, well. I'm not sure how to restart the system. I'm not sure how I. Do that. Maybe it's because I've done it already. Because I did it at the start of the night. Just because I had no clue what it did. And I saw a button, so I thought, hey, let's press the button. Alright. Oh, okay. And back to him, too. Nice. Nice. Alright. Get in the hang of it. Still can't click any of these cameras. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Why is there music? 
Wait, wait, whoa, wait, hold on. Wait, you can't just throw music at me randomly. I have a feeling that something's about to kill me right now. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, whoa, hello. New camera, okay, cool. Send him back to cam two, because I like that camera. Okay, I don't know what that music was about. There's no one else here besides him. Um, I don't... You're going everywhere, man. God. Can I send him to Camp 5, maybe? And he really doesn't like Camp 5. I've tried to send him there at least three times, and he's always refused. <laughs> Cool. Hey! Nice! Gonna get a cutscene? Thanks for playing the demo. Stay tuned for the full game. No cutscene. But we do get a tease for the full game. Now, what I'm gonna try and do is try. I'm gonna try and get jump scared. Is that a cutscene? It's kind of just gone black. I guess we're waiting. Just gonna close out of the game and restart it. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Developer, uh, I finished the game. 6 a.m. Thanks for playing the demo. Just cut to black. The window was still open. The screen was just black. I could hear things. It sounded like... Not sure what it sounded like. I don't know if that was the title music or what, but it was something. But it wasn't something. No? <laughs> this is why I'm not a beta tester for anything. I want to get jump scared. I want to see what the jump scare is like, because I have not seen any jump scares from this game. So, I'm just kind of going to wait here, signal the jammer. Nope, gotta restart the system. I don't understand that. Hopefully in the full game there's gonna be a phone guy where he tells you what to do. He tells you about the jammer. Um, he tells you about the audio lore and all that stuff. Because you kind of have to figure it out on your own. Um, and stuff like the jammer, I really don't understand. I don't even know what it does. It jams something, but right now it's jamming my camera system. Because I need to restart it apparently. Oh, hey, friend. Again, not sure how I get rid of you when you're in this phase. I'm assuming I don't. But what up? Uh... Okay, all right then, sure. Let's go with that. I like how he just pops out of existence. All right, this was a pretty good demo. Kind of wish it had another night, but... I'll, I'll take the first night, because it kind of sets the ground rule. Wind, can you stop slamming my door? It sets the basics, you kind of get an understanding of the area and the type of game this is. Again, I think a phone guy is necessary, especially for the the jammer. I'm not entirely sure what that do, what that do, what that does. It would also just help out, you know, I'm not sure, I don't even know this guy's name, but he doesn't spawn till like 1 or 2 a.m., which is plenty of time for a basic phone call, you know, tells you about the jammer, tells you maybe a little backstory about the place you're in, about the characters, tells you about the camera system and the audio lore. I think that would really help people out um, to understand what they're doing. But other than that, this game is great. I love it so much. It's really, really good. Let me just go back and see it. I feel like I'm forgetting something that I wanted to point out, but I'll be right back. Maybe add something that you can do in this area, because really, there's nothing you could do. I'm not saying you have to add a door mechanic, because that would really defeat the whole point of having a camera system and getting the characters away from you, because once they're here, 
there's nothing you can do, so... I think that's a good mechanic, is that you have to keep them in the system, in the cameras. Um, but I feel like you should be able to, like, maybe engage in these... In, with these monitors, maybe they show an easter egg or something. I don't know, I just feel like this area is kind of bland, because without a character in the doorway, it just seems meaningless. And of course it's not, I just feel like, who knows, maybe you could add a fan right here and you can turn on and off the fan. Just a little bit of activity to make it feel more alive, because um, right now the camera system is the only functioning thing in this room, really. But other than that, this game is really, really well made, and the developer has done an amazing job with this game. The mechanics are interesting, and the characters sure look interesting. Hopefully we get more uh, backstory about them and the origins of this place in the full game, because they seem pretty cool and interesting. They look pretty cool. They kind of remind me of Spring Bonnie a bit. Hey, editing Johnny Blocks here. I don't know how I did this, but I said they remind me of Spring Bonnie a bit. I sure hope they do, because that is Spring Bonnie. I, for some reason, completely forgot that this was a Fred Bears Family Diner game. It's called Back to Fred Bears. I don't know how I got that wrong. So, Whenever I say, oh, dude, it kind of reminds me of Spring Bonnie and Fredbear, that's because it is Spring Bonnie and Fredbear. I don't know how I managed to do that, but I did. So, <laughs> before I released this video, I thought maybe I should clarify that this is Spring Bonnie. So, I popped on real quickly just to clarify that I am stupid and that is Spring Bonnie. So, back back to the video so maybe they came from that era of FNAF of Fred Bear's Family Diner who knows but yeah this was a very fun game to play and I can't wait for the demo so developer thank you for releasing a demo it looks very cool and I wish you good luck with the development of the full game and I want to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you all on the flip side goodbye Thank you.